this is harp basics seven we've got three more lessons so again uh we're still working on three fingers four is going to be harp basics eight and nine um one of the things i wanted to point out that most places we have a shape and yesterday or yeah it was when I was putting the three fingers together using a third that we have the chord and that is the chord shape the basic chord shape for us um, I noticed two things with that is that my fingers still aren't relaxed um, and I also noticed that many things when we're thinking about oh I want a B flat chord well the way to get a B flat chord if your harp is tuned in C and my levers are set for C I'd actually have to leave off the B. I'd have to just have a two finger chord D, F. Because I've got my levers, I can down tune the B. Which would give me that particular sound. Is there anything you can do if you don't happen to have levers and your harp is tuned in C? Yeah, you're stuck with the other two um, notes of the chord. So the, these are challenges that we face and being able to move our hands to the different chords is one of the things the advantage i have with this is that we can retune parts of our harp uh, maybe you want to have the upper part tuned so that the b's are flat and that you can do that so that you could play up here part of it and the other is in c there are things we can do to get around that okay Something we haven't done for a very long time. You know, if I, if I do something like this, or that's another type of exercise. And I happen to have uh, one of my study books, not one I've mentioned, open. And I'm just looking at the things that it's asking me to do and it's asking for remember we talked about the shapes of the one and three well the shape it's asking for one and three this time is to have the three of the left hand on the f and one of the left hand on the D. It's also specifically telling me that my F's need to be sharped as I come up. And so do my C's. So they should be sharped. I'm not doing that because I'm leaving it in C and I'm just practicing. It's not a piece that I'm interested in learning. But this shape is going to be one that it wants me to bring up one, keep re reposition the shape exactly one set up reposition the shape once more up then come down back to normal and then down back up to that and 
they would choose this moment to plow the driveway. So that is something that they're wanting to have repeated two times. So let's just consider that. That's the shape. One and three, that's a maximum of how many strings apart? One, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth. So when I was talking about you know, learning the shapes, that's it. Do I want my strings to vibrate when I play them? Yes. Do I want them buzzing? No. done here but it's the octave oh excuse me no it's not it's I'm seeing something else it's coming down to the B way down here and this is a time remember I've just last played this one and three and then it wants me to reach down here with four and play the B. That's the way the sheet music looks. Why would they want me to reach down here with my fourth finger? It's because I'm going to need to be right back here immediately after. And if I would reach down and play with two, my hand wouldn't be close enough to where it needs to be. So that was the idea of this. So I'm going to put my right hand back in this position and look at something else. One, two, and three of the right hand placed on B, C, and D. And they want this to happen. Still wondering where I am. So while I'm doing the way down here, this is also coming. That's what they're wanting. That's going to be the last note there. So there are times, and something I really haven't talked about, is when your fingers are got turnarounds, you've got place, one, two, place and play, we 
much is easier. This is just, technically this looks like a harp exercise, but it's actually a piece. Um, what are they asking for? They're asking for both hands to move up and down together. So this, what they're asking for. That's just two bars of music, actually. It's three. So I, I wanted to point out that, that all four fingers actually can come in. Um, where was I? There was another piece of music. The same, the same piece of music the next one is actually asking for rolled chords, and it's asking for one and two to be on B and D, and three to be down on G, no, excuse me, E. And on the upper hand, it's wanting F and B and down on B. So we've got a full octave here. B to D. So it's got four in. With number two on F. That's almost a full B chord. What's it missing? Right here that. Remember we talked about the thirds? Well, it's the B chord but without the D. And it's wanting us to roll these. So th there's all sorts of things that we can do with our the hands and what we play and how we play them. And very important to get full control of your fingers, to develop your calluses. I'm going to spend, you know, some time now getting my, reworking my calluses on number four. They're, they're coming along, but I haven't focused on them too much. So, more soon. Keep practicing. <laughs>